Hi YouTube, just a little quick video as I've been having trouble um, sharing my screen with Linux Mint 17.2 um, I'm not sure exactly what is going on um, but what I have done and worked successfully is installed a free um, VNC server now interestingly um, this screen sharer was using the correct same port uh, because when I installed VNC server the port was being used by another application however I couldn't see it from any of my other um, computers um, within the house uh, despite for port forwarding um, port 5900 on my router um, so what I'm going to do is show you basically the correct thing you need to go to so realvnc.com um, what I did was I first downloaded the VNC for Linux um, generic installer 64-bit now uh, because I'm quite new to Linux I didn't actually know what I was doing um, to install that one however when I downloaded the VNC for Linux Debian compatible installer obviously I had a .deb file which was immediately recognized and I could install um, I actually installed it in the terminal um, but you can in install it using the software or package manager can't remember which um, but it recognizes it straight away so if you download that install it and then run VNC uh, server um, you then get um, you get this um, it gives you more to check gives you options it's it's free you download a key from um, VNC uh, real VNC um, which is all free and it works very well um, I can in fact I'll do it now I will get my iPhone and control not that you may see this because it just looks like I'm controlling it myself but actually um, I'm going to connect to it and there you go as you see there's one user connected and as you can see I'm now connected to my screen using my iPhone 6 um, and I can connect connect up and do what I wish from my phone um, so I'll disconnect from that Um, and there you go so I've disconnected and all is well I hope that uh, helps um, I will continue to try and find a workaround for the screen sharing and uh, that's involved um, which I can't do at the moment uh, but if I do I will let you know if anybody knows how to um, make the VNC server run uh, from startup if they just like to leave comments down below that will be um, great thank you very much and we'll see you